In this lecture, we will discuss Markovnikov's rule, which forms the basis of regioselectivity in hydrohalogenation reaction of alkenes. Hydrohalogenation can be defined as the addition of hydrogen halide to alkenes to form an alkyl halide. Consider this general reaction of hydrohalogenation of alkenes. As can be seen here, two bonds are broken in this reaction, the weak pi bond of the alkene and the HX bond of hydrogen halide. In the product, two new sigma bonds are formed, one to H and one to halogen. Because X is more electronegative than hydrogen, the HX bond is polarized with a partial positive charge on hydrogen and a partial negative charge on halogen. The electrophilic end of HX is attracted towards the electron-rich double bond. These reactions are called electrophilic additions. Let us check the mechanism this addition reaction goes through. The mechanism consists of two steps. Step 1 is the addition of electrophile to the pi bond. The loosely held pi electrons attack the hydrogen atom of HBr, thus forming a new CH bond, while breaking the HBr bond towards electronegative bromine. Due to this, the other carbon atom of the original double bond is left with only six electrons, forming a carbocation intermediate. This step is rate determining because two bonds are broken but only one bond is formed. Step 2 is the nucleophilic attack of bromide anion on the carbocation, this forms the new CBr bond. In the first step, the alkene acts as the Lewis base that donates an electron pair to hydrogen bromide, which acts as the Lewis acid. In the second step, Bromide anion acts as Lewis base and donates an electron pair to carbocation, which acts as Lewis acid. We can show these reaction steps in the energy diagram. This is a two-step reaction and each step has its own energy barrier and a transition state at energy maximum. Step 1 has higher energy transition state, therefore it is rate-determining step. Step 2 has a lower energy transition state. As is obvious in the energy diagram, the activation energy for step 1 is higher than the activation energy for step 2. The enthalpy for step 1 is positive because two bonds are broken and only one is formed. The enthalpy for step 2 is negative because only bond making occurs. This clearly shows that the mechanism consists of two steps, so there are two energy barriers. Step 1 is higher in energy. Therefore, it is rate determining. With an unsymmetrical alkene, HX can add to the double bond to give two constitutional isomers. For example, hydrogen chloride addition to propane can form one chloropropane if H adds to carbon 2 and chlorine adds to carbon 1. Alternatively, it may form 2-chloropropane by addition of hydrogen on carbon 1 and chlorine on carbon 2. Experimentally, in this electrophilic addition, 2-chloropropane was found to be the only product formed. This reaction is a specific example of a general trend, called Markovnikov's rule named after the Russian chemist, who first determined the regioselectivity of electrophilic addition of HX to unsymmetrical alkene. In case of unsymmetrical alkenes, based on which carbon of the double bond attaches with the hydrogen of HX, there are two possible pathways for the first step of the reaction. Path 1 here shows that H is attached to more substituted carbon so that primary carbocation is formed as intermediate. Path 2 shows H is attached to less substituted carbon to form secondary carbocation. From the carbocation stability order, 
we know, secondary carbocation is more stable than primary. As per Hammond postulate, path 2 is faster than path 1 because formation of carbocation is endothermic process. Therefore transition state for more stable secondary carbocation must be lower in energy than less stable primary carbocation. Therefore, it is obvious that, the activation energy for the formation of more stable secondary carbocation is lower than the activation energy for the formation of primary carbocation. Therefore secondary carbocation is formed faster. Thus a single product, 2-chloropropane is formed exclusively by addition of halide anion to secondary carbocation. Therefore based on this mechanism and regioselectivity in the addition of hydrogen halide to an unsymmetrical alkene Markovnikov's rule can be stated as In the addition of HX to an unsymmetrical alkene, the hydrogen atom or the positive part of the reagent is added to the less substituted carbon to form the most stable, more substituted carbocation intermediate. Consider this unsymmetrical alkene. This carbon is less substituted whereas this carbon is more substituted. When hydrogen bromide is added, hydrogen will be placed on the less substituted carbon so that bromine will be placed on the more substituted carbon. Take another unsymmetrical alkene. We can write the product for this reaction directly by adding hydrogen on the less substituted carbon of the original double bond and bromine on the more substituted carbon. In this cyclic unsymmetrical alkene, we can write the product based on the Markovnikov's rule. Attach hydrogen on this less substituted carbon and bromine on the more substituted carbon. Take this unsymmetrical alkene. This is less substituted carbon and this more substituted carbon. Just like we did with propene, HBr addition can be done via two pathways. For example in path 1, hydrogen is added on less substituted carbon, so that carbocation is generated on more substituted side. This forms tertiary carbocation. If this is captured by bromide anion, then product has hydrogen on less substituted side and bromine on more substituted side. In path 2, hydrogen is added on more substituted carbon, so that carbocation is generated on less substituted carbon. This forms secondary carbocation. If this is captured by bromide anion, then product formed has hydrogen on more substituted side and bromine on less substituted side. Compare the two carbocations formed in path 1 and 2. In pathway 1, positively charged carbon is directly attached with trifluoromethyl groups. The CF3 groups destabilize the tertiary carbocation. In case of path 2, the carbocation is secondary but positively charged carbon is not directly attached to CF3 destabilizing groups. Thus, path 1 goes via much wanted tertiary carbocation which is destabilized by CF3, whereas path 2 goes via secondary carbocation which is not destabilized by CF3. Thus in this particular case, secondary carbocation is more stable than tertiary carbocation. This means secondary carbocation will need lower activation energy and formed faster. Therefore reaction prefers to go via path 2 over path 1. To form this product exclusively. Notice the product has hydrogen on more substituted carbon and bromine on less substituted carbon. This is contrary to the product obtained in propene. Consider this second example, in which carbon-carbon double bond is flanked by a methoxy group on one side. 
This is the less substituted carbon, whereas this is the more substituted carbon. The hydrogen chloride addition can be done in two ways just like we have done in previous example. In path 1, hydrogen is added on less substituted side to form carbocation on more substituted side. This forms tertiary carbocation. If this is captured by chloride anion, product like this is formed which has hydrogen on less substituted carbon and chlorine on more substituted carbon. In path 2, hydrogen is added on more substituted carbon so that carbocation is generated on less substituted carbon. This forms secondary carbocation. Notice the secondary carbocation has oxygen directly attached to positively charged carbon. The lone pair on oxygen will stabilize the positive charge on carbon by mesomeric donation. Thus this carbocation is resonance stabilized. If this resonance stabilized carbocation is captured by chloride anion, a product like this will be formed with hydrogen on more substituted side and chlorine added on less substituted carbon. On comparing the carbocations formed in both pathways, we can see that path 1 goes via much sought tertiary carbocation, which in this particular case, doesn't have any resonance stabilization, and has competition with secondary carbocation having resonance stabilization formed in path 2. Overall this resonance stabilized secondary carbocation wins over simple tertiary carbocation and reaction goes through path 2 to form this product, which has hydrogen attached to more substituted carbon and chlorine to less substituted carbon. This compels us to rephrase the Markovnikov's rule in an electrophilic addition to alkene. The electrophile adds in such a way so as to generate a more stable intermediate. Thus during electrophilic addition of unsymmetrical reagent like HBr to alkene, we should not write product based on less or more substituted carbon of double bond. We should write the product generated from a more stable intermediate, be it on less substituted or more substituted end of reactant alkene.